welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're doing okay. So today's video, I just thought I'd continue vlogging. Really enjoying vlogging at the moment. Um, <laughs> we're still in lockdown in England. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Seems to have gone on forever. <laughs> ah. So I was gonna do a bedroom reveal. Um, so I will start that bit now. My bed arrived. So today I'm gonna be talking you through a lot of home stuff. Um, cause my bed has arrived. I'm in my bedroom right now. I don't really show you guys my bed. I haven't really showed you the bedroom. Um, obviously I turned the biggest room into a studio closet area with the ensuite and I took the smallest room as my bedroom because let's face it it's just me I just want to sleep in here and then I wanted to do all my work in there so that was my reasoning behind taking the smallest room it saying that it's still bigger than the one in my old flat so it's kind of just an empty shell um, I have a wardrobe here and I actually have all my coats here which really annoys me <laughs> because it's very similar to the setup I had in my old flat but I didn't want it there but they are there because all the stuff in the cupboards outside, I'm gonna be putting underneath my ottoman storage in my new bed, and then the coats are gonna go in the hallway. So that's just very temporary. I have been sleeping on an air blow up mattress um, <laughs> for the past, is it three months? I have been through three, so I've burst two, I'm on my third one. So I don't recommend that at all, but my bed has arrived and my, um, mattress is coming in a couple of weeks and in this video i have got so much homework stuff coming i've got bedside tables i've got that i got the whole shebang the cushions the throws so hopefully you can see a little bit of how i put a room together and my ideas and stuff um lots of homework coming up because i kind of um needed the bulk furniture to arrive before i could dress it if that makes sense so hopefully things will be starting to come together a little bit more so my bed has arrived in four boxes i'm so crap at diy <laughs> literally i put stuff together and it falls apart so wish me luck but i thought i would just take you with me and see what we can do so wish me luck <laughs> And um, this is going to be harder than I anticipated. <laughs> say I'm a little bit hot but this is the um, headboard I went for so it's like a grey one with buttons on it's really beautiful god I'm boiling <laughs> so this is the first time I've seen it I find furniture shopping really hard to envision it in the room because it's su such big pieces of furniture that you have to kind of envision what it will look like um, you also don't know the true colour, like sometimes when you look at something on the site, the image isn't the true colour. So I find furniture chopping tremendously hard. God, I'm up. <laughs> this is going to write for my lungs right off. Um, but I'm so pleased with the colour of it. And even it, it's it's um, a velvet, but it's not really a velvet. It's like a really gorgeous kind of textured, like, like a rustic velvet. And I like that. It's not too like bougie velvet it's a rustic velvet and I, I think that's really important i really love that and i love the little bun designs so this bed is from a company called arista living <laughs> and i'm gonna go through it all with you when um i finished building it because you can actually design your own bed so i designed this and what color and fabric and size and storage etc um so i thought it was really interesting to do that with you guys because you can really make a bespoke bed for you <sighs> right next bit oh, i don't know how i'm gonna put this together the instructions better be um simple <laughs> i really i'm not good with the whole diy situation i'm gonna have to undo this a little bit i'm so what <laughs> so these are actually um the side bits to it so it's got this gorgeous kind of pat like i just think it looks really really high-end looking big gorgeous cushions on there 
I'm really pleased with my decision. Right, I'm gonna put you on some sort of time lapse whilst I try and figure this out. <laughs> my pain with the kiss then suddenly you are here inside my head okay, mini update <laughs> um it's going well i'm getting there there's a few screws that i can't get in i'm gonna have to find a hot man to come around be in a bubble with me and be like do you mind just bringing a screwdriver <laughs> that's the plan my wrist is hurting <laughs> Most wrist, most wrist action me hands are bad. <laughs> the gloomiest of days today it's like always dark outside so now i'm going to show you the next stage of the bedroom we've got the bed up i did it <laughs> um so yeah it was a really straightforward process actually the documents were were very self-explanatory i am not the best at diy at all and um, I did it so that's probably a good sign um so really easy to put together i found anyway and i got this it's from arista living you can design the exact bed that you want the size the headboard i chose extra storage like an ottoman but you can choose like drawers you can choose a small ottoman you can just have a plain bed like so many different options you can choose the mattress um that you want whether you want it squishy or you want it solid so yeah, you can really optimize like the, the bed experience for yourself, which I thought was a really good process. So I've never seen anything like that before. So Arista Living, I'll leave all the details in the description box below, but um, I went for this gorgeous gray. I was umming and ahhing between like a gray and a cream, but I went for gray in the end because yeah, it's just the carpet's gray. I thought it went a little bit better. I am on the hunt. Um, I need to get an iron. I actually do not own an iron. <laughs> Um, I have a steamer which I use for clothes, but I think I need an iron for the bed sheets. I'm really struggling to get them creased through. So next stage, I have just had the arrival of the bedside tables, and I'm so excited to show you. So I wanted to explain a little bit about um, my reasoning behind the bedside tables. So don't know if you've seen the entrance hall to this flat it's like not in my flat but the actual entrance hall it's black and it's gold and it's really um very striking so there is a lot of a black and gold theme in this flat just because i was really inspired by the entrance so people kept asking me like where i got my inspo from and i was just like it just felt right um, I didn't plan it before I came in. I probably wasn't even had like black in my mind, but as I was piecing things together, it just flowed. It was just really nice. So I have picked some bedside tables from Olivia's. They have such a gorgeous collection of furniture. So if you're looking for really striking pieces, definitely go check them out. Um, I think when I pick furniture, I really want to look for stuff that I'm going to have forever and take on with me to every place I live. Like I wanted to build a really gorgeous furniture collection um, and these are just absolutely beautiful. I have a wool um, picture, I think arriving today as well. I have some lamps which go really well with the whole, the whole environment. So let's go open the bedside tables. So I just jumped in my dressing room to unbox the bedside tables. I feel like we need a drum roll. <laughs> I've been alone for what seems like forever. Try to hold it together, but I'm losing my grip. I need someone who can make me 
Since moving into this flat, I have done a hell of a lot of DIY. And one of the things I've really noticed is when you have a load of bolts and screws, don't tie, don't screw them in really tight until they're all in. Screw all of them in really loosely. That way, when you make a mistake, it doesn't take twice as long to get them all off again. <laughs> so just put them loosely in, and then at the end, when you've got them all in the right places and it's definitely the right place, that's when you screw them in. However, I think, I hate to say this, but I think I need a strong man to finish it off. So next time, next time I have a hot man in my bed, I'll give him Alan. <laughs> I'll be like, whilst you're here, can you just screw some screws in for me? <laughs> I can, um, I got the bottom ones in okay, but I think this one needs a little bit of extra strength. My guns aren't strong enough at the moment. But um, yeah, just put them in first and then tighten them. So there you have my brand new bedside tables. I love the fact that the gold wasn't like really bright gold. It was like a brush gold. So it wasn't like in your face. It was just a very delicate gold. And then um, I need to get, as I said, I need a strong man to screw this on for me. But uh, I just love how, um, basically I wanted my flat to look like a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a very held hotel, like like a really posh hotel kind of vibe. So let me go put them in the bedroom. So if I can give you a better close up, it's got this gorgeous kind of black wood. It's like really, really, um, you can tell it's really good quality wood. Then on the inside you've got like a rustic kind of wood. I just really love the contrast actually of the wood on the inside to the black on the outside. And I'm, um, yeah, really, really pleased with them. I cannot wait to show you the lights that I have for the bedside tables. I feel like it's a really good job. So I've just popped the tables in and they fit perfectly. I'm really happy with how everything's looking. Um, gonna sort the bedding out. I have most of the core bedding. My lamp's coming, got some wall art, got some cushions coming and a throw. So hopefully soon it will come together. <sighs> I've learned a lot with furniture shopping so far. I've learned a lot. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take the camera off and show you a little bit around my bedroom. And I, I um, so my living room that I put together, I absolutely love. It just is very aesthetically pleasing when you're in there, haven't finished it. It still have the kitchen bar to arrive. But this bedroom, as much as I love it, I keep coming in and I can't figure it out. Something is off. Um, <laughs> I think it's really beautiful. I like the things that have gone together work, but then there's something that's not quite right. And I think it's because, I think it's because the gold in the lamp is different from the gold in the bedside tables. So I think, oh, I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't even know if I'm gonna take them lamps back to be honest, but I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I think I might rework it a little bit just to suit my style a little bit better. I think I got a little bit carried away with the bouginess. Kind of like more of a understated kind of vibe. As much as I love this, there's something. I think it's because, I don't know if you can see, this is a beautiful wall art by the way. Really gorgeous wall art from Wallfillers. Again, I have a discount code. So this is the setup I have at the moment. The wall art, I, I love it. I re really, really enjoy this aesthetic, but I think what's thrown me off is that the gold in the tables, the gold in the lamp, and the gold in the wall art is slightly off. So I've actually been in touch with um, a designer that's gonna design me some pillows, and the sample she sent through are absolutely beautiful. I've got a real thing for a beautiful cushion. This cushion is from, I think, Rowan Homes. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got this kind of like beautiful kind of white fabric. Really enjoyed them. So I really love everything separately, but I don't know. I don't know if it works together. I'll put a picture here of what I initially had in mind for this room. Um, it was a lot dark. It was a lot kind of, I don't want to say grungy, but there was definitely a darker aspect to it. It wasn't blingy at all. This, I don't know whether this is my style. I just kind of got carried away with the lampshades. And I do love them, it just wasn't what I had in mind. And it's only when you put stuff together, and um, yeah, furniture shopping I find is really hard because you almost have to take a gamble. Um, so the lamps, I think I'm gonna try and take back, 
get the cushions in from the new place and go for a more like rustic kind of vi like a darker vibe um I'm gonna see if I can't send the lamps back that's an issue because they're quite they're quite expensive and I don't know why I threw the packaging out because I don't know. I even got Philip Hue light bulbs in it. Has anyone else got a Philip Hue light bulb? Because honestly, it looks like the red light district. There's a very red tinge to it when I put them on. Um, I'll have to show you when it's dark, but it's it's definitely a mood. <laughs> but today I have so many parcels to unbox with you. So I, I actually might leave you here and um, we can unbox them here. So lots of parcels arrived. We've got a little homework haul for you. Some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So I'm gonna start off with one that I have been dying to open and unbox with you guys. So I was like, no, I'm gonna wait till I vlog and then I can share it with you because I wanted these for so long. Um, so my favorite flower is a hydrangea. I just love them. I think they're beautiful. And I re I've come to realize because I'd never furnished a place before, I didn't know what my style was. I was just kind of picking things that I liked. But I definitely like, say if you had something really modern with then like a rustic accent. That if that, I like the can't 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 juxtaposition. Is that the right word? I like a juxtaposition of like different um, does that like different moods? If that makes sense. So I am. Um, getting a kitchen bar put in the kitchen it's going to be black and with cream bottles i think you've seen a couple of pictures that i've thrown around so on top of this like very modern kind of kitchen bar i wanted like a really rustic floral piece so i'm a massive fan of flowers and just for something a little bit more permanent i wanted some faux flowers to go with my um fresh flowers just to make it something that's there all the time um, and then when I get the faux flowers in, it's just an additional something beautiful and fresh. So I just, every time my faux, my real flowers died, it just looked really bare. So I wanted to both of them really. Um, so these are from a brand called um, Amarathine. Amarathine Blooms. I'll leave it here. I found them on Instagram and I just felt absolutely in love with their designs how beautiful are these how real do they look and actually i really enjoy this kind of like green to break up the white it just makes it look really real oh, i'm so happy with them they have turned out perfectly it's like better than i could ever have imagined and i think the flowers are definitely worth investing in like a good faux flower because a flower piece that is going to be that not if that's not going to die is definitely worth it in your home how amazing do these look this is the final bouquet i cannot wait to have them like on top of my work surface they are beautiful i'm such a flower girl i really love them and i will leave the details down below because they are absolutely stunning so made up with them so Next up, I have another little bit of homework. As I said before, I really love like the kind of rustic vibe with the modern. So I grabbed this for my bedroom. It is this gorgeous, chunky throw, and I really love the rusticness of it. The how chunky, how the chunky knit was it, and it was frayed. I thought it worked. The contrast was really beautiful against like such a finished bed. Um, yeah, I just am really enjoying the kind of different juxtapositions am i making words up <laughs> who knows so yeah i got this for the end of my bed i'm actually planning on maybe like a um i have a huge mirror coming for here i this makes me mad like what is this for um such an eyesore <laughs> um i wanted to put like a chair in front of it so you can't see it with like maybe the fur over the top of it and a cushion or something so that was my idea. So this is from Mason Rustic and um, yeah, just a really beautiful brand. And I I've, I've really discovered these kind of little homeware brands that just sell the most beautiful things. Like I definitely find like the, the like niche homeware brands have the more beautiful finds, if that makes sense, something original and something a bit different rather than like H&M Home or Zara Home. And I just think you can find some amazing pieces um yeah so i've been googling like crazy and these are definitely one that i found and loved okay so next i think i've got some beauty so 
I was kindly sent some molten brown and funnily enough I used to always buy this this scent for my mum it just smells so good it is the orange and bergamot oh it's so good so like I'm just so excited to put this in my bathroom so I've got the body lotion the shower gel the hand wash which is all the rage these days <laughs> gotta wash those hands and then we've got some hand lotion and then they kindly sent me I, oh my gosh is this the fragrance i cannot tell you my mum's had this um scent in her bathroom for so long it is beautiful so this is the packaging let me just open this oh my god it smells so good oh my god that is lovely it's very unisex isn't it is it unisex i wonder if it is i'll find out if that's unisex for you guys because i love that i really like masculine stuff <laughs> like interior design i've got like a very masculine kind of taste i think oh that is insane my mom will be wanting that for sure for sure it is beautiful orange and bergamot i'll leave that down below this is the throw i just love the like kind of rustic feel against like a really stylized like this is very modern and then this is kind of rustic i love that kind of mix and then these are the beautiful flowers how stunning are they these are actually going to go i have just ordered my kitchen island and they're they're the centerpiece but i actually really love um this the green and white so i might actually get two little two little black vases and put like miniature versions either side because actually that lime green i'm really loving so a bit of a pillow update i actually am getting my pillows designed um so i'll talk about them more so there is so much more happening in this room gosh can you guys see me because i cannot see you maybe if you turn it this way oh gosh that's so it's bright <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, quite know what to do. Sun shining, guys, very brightly. Can you guys see me? I don't know. Okay, so I've kind of even sent some cushions from a company called the Belfield Group. They literally are anything that you need to do with like inside furniture, furniture like fabrics and stuff. They kindly, I sent them a mood board and they literally put these, I described like the kind of thing that I wanted. I sent, it, sent a few like Pinterest pictures and they designed these, these cushions for me. So they're really good if you want really bespoke cushions made for like your rooms and stuff. So obviously I wanted to make this bedroom the most beautiful, like um, serene place that I could. So I have got some cushions. So let me unbox them. Okay, so firstly I have this big one. How beautiful is that cushion? Oh, I'm so excited. And then next we have, I'm really into, I'm really into the geometric prints. So we've got like the black and the silver, the black to tie in the bedside tables and then the print to go with the bed, the bed headboard. And then, Obviously I have two of them for each side and then this one. Oh, then this one I have for the centerpiece which is this gorgeous kind of ivory velvet kind of fabric. But yeah, I'm gonna pop them on my bed and see how they look. They look gorgeous so I cannot wait to see what they look like on the bed. I can see you a little better now. That sun was intense before. <laughs> but how beautiful are these? I'm so, so, so happy with them. I've discovered that it takes a long time to get a, a flat to come together, um, but it's a quite an enjoyable process. Next, next stop is the office. I'm just wait. I really want the breakfast bar to come. I feel like it will be a game changer. I'm just gonna order some. I'm gonna order. Went on a slightly different route. I know it's different to the last time I showed you, but as soon as I got these cushions, I was like, <laughs> I need the cushions. So I'm gonna get some prints for here that are like very neutral. Um, maybe with like a black scribble on, like a line for a, I have the vision in my head. Um, it just needs a little print there. It will all come together very nicely. But I definitely recommend Belfield Group because honestly, they brought my vision to life so easily. So um, impressed with how they turned that around. Like they knew exactly what I wanted and the fabrics to make it with. So even like the black around the outside to draw in the black of the bedside tables worked perfectly. 
love them. So this is what the room is looking like at the moment. I got some neck curtains from Dunelm. They just really add to the privacy. I actually didn't think I could get them, but it's not even screwed in. I've just like wedged the bar in. I think that's how they're designed to do it. Anyway, my mum sorted it out. Mum to the rescue. But a little bit more about the cushions. So they're called at belfield.home on Instagram. I'll leave them linked down below. If you have any queries, just send them a little message. But they have stockists listed on their website so you can actually see whether they're sold. But they basically do blinds, they do cushions, um, they do a lot of fabrics for home. So definitely just send them a little message if you want a qu to query something or search out your nearest stockist. But honestly, <gasps> they just make this room so good. And as I said, I'm gonna get um, some a very natural print for up there. All I le have left now is the giant mirror that's coming for here. And also I'm gonna pop these cushions on, um, I've got an armchair coming in the living room. So yeah, so happy with this, how this has turned out. I hope you liked my bedroom makeover and I will do you a little update when everything else has arrived. <laughs>